now to part two. We're gonna put our new PC together with some of the parts that we took out of the other PC. Here's a case we've got from Wonderful Contact or Game Max, their contact case. It's the turbo, uh, you, you, you figure out what that really says. Um, this has some light up fans and all that good stuff. We'll get more into it as we go. But it wasn't expensive. It looked like a pretty cool case. The name is hilarious. The fact that they have Mr. Pill Guy in the name alone is something else. All right, we'll get back to more stuff here for the build here in a second. All right, so we're going to use for the, the uh, this new computer here is Ryzen 5, 5500. And we're going to use motherboard Gigabyte. It's a B550 motherboard. Um, I'm going to pop her open. Start putting this thing together. Now that we got the uh, the motherboard out of the case here, or out of the box, I should say. This here's all the things that come with it. Back plate, side of cable, has Wi-Fi connection, all that good mess. So. Take all that stuff and the motherboard, place it on top, then we'll grab the Ryzen 5500, pop her open. Then we have the entire chip, got a little sticker right there, as you can see, you know, 5500, Ryzen 5, all right, okay, so we're going to put the CPU in, now as you can see in that little tiny corner there, there's a little triangle shape. There should also be another triangle shape right on top of the CPU, and they should match up when you put them down. For the most part, all you're gonna do is take this, push it off to the side just a little bit, and plop that up. Okay, then gently take your CPU, As you can see, that little arrow, uh, you see like there's no other, on the other four corners, it matches where that same arrow is. All right, you don't have to force it down, nothing like such. And then all you do is you take this back and just latch it back in place, how it should be. Now your CPU's in place, all right? Next thing we gotta do is just take the cooler out of the box that it came with, because the Ryzen comes with their own cooler. It has the thermo paste already on there, it should anyway. And then we go from there. Now that we have our fan out of the box, now, there's a couple brackets here we have to remove, okay, before we can put the fan in. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those. Take them couple screws out.
where those screws go, the screws that are on the fan themselves, will go right into those same slots. The other thing you want to make sure is that one, there's are stemmer paste on the bottom of the fan. Two, you don't want to put the fan on in the wrong direction because it could block your ram because that little hump. So you want to gently place this down. So this way that the screws line up with those holes. As you can see, there's thermo paste on there. So, I'll let my son do it. So, and when you tighten these down, these four bolts or screws, because you have one here, here, and then on the other side also. And you want to tighten them down like you would tighten down uh, a tire on a car. You one here, then here, then here, then here. So that way it, it gives even pressure down. You don't want it uneven, you won't have to. And you also don't want to crank down like crazy. So. Make sure you don't strip them as you go. Crank it down a little bit. Now try the other side. Now move on to the next. And then repeat on this far side here. And then you continue to keep going until everything's nice and tight. And you definitely don't need to be he man and strip these things out. Now, you have your cable right here for your fan. That should go to your fan header, depending on your motherboard. It should be labeled as CPU fan, as you can see right here. Okay. So, that has a clip on there, just as this clip here. It can only go in one way. Be gentle. Now this here is the CPU header on the motherboard for the fan. So 
you just set, make sure that, because the bracket all goes in the same way, because it's specific. Just make sure you're gentle, make sure all the plugs in there, you don't bend anything. And just gently push down on it until it clicks into place, just like so. Now your fan is connected, all right? So, but like I was saying before, you gotta kinda make sure with this here, you don't have this fan flipped around so that way that's sticking over here and you won't be able to put your um, your RAM slots in there because it'll block it. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do, is wanna grab some RAM. We're gonna place them in place. here is the uh, our RAM it's there's 16 uh, gigabytes a piece so we got total 32 gigs all right same stuff that we took out of the last computer so and how that pretty much works is you're gonna have to unclip both sides you gently put them in there make sure that slots right mm -hmm. Push them down to the click. Okay. Now you want, because of how we have black, gray, and black, you want to put them on the same black to black, gray to gray, obviously. And like I was saying with this, the slot, make sure that slot lines up. And there you go. Our RAM's in place. All right. So at this point here, it kind of looks like that's about all we can do with it outside the case. So we're going to come back and we'll start tearing open the case, start installing the rest of it. All right. Now we got our motherboard for the most part ready. So we're going to mess with our case. All right. This one here, we've already took a couple screws off the back that we hold the side panels on here, here, and here. This front panel, it says that you grab right here. And there it comes off. Watch because it's glass, that came off pretty easy. All right. Now, as you can see, there's a fan in the front and the back, and there's a fan also back here. All right, and these all, I do believe, light up. We'll find out though, okay? Now, in order to get the back panel off, just leave it up out of the way. And as you can see, like the cable management and all that kind of stuff is, is quite nice. All right. This here is for the lights for the fans. All right. It's already pre-wired. We just have to run a couple of different wires for the, uh, there's a sink cable and all that good stuff that runs to the motherboard. SATA cable that hooks up here. It powers all that. So, okay. Now, as you can see, Throughout here, you have standoffs for your um, motherboard. Make sure that they line up where they need to line up, and you don't have any pieces of metal touching the back of that motherboard. So, all right, let's flip this over. All right, now we have the standoff here, which goes right in the back. It's kind of recessed a little bit. So to get it actually where it's supposed to go. It goes in just like that. All right. Make sure when you when you put those in, it will line up with your motherboard. Because you don't want to put it in there and have to take it back out. Now, all our offsets, we've already moved. Put them in place. Okay, because you don't want anything metal touching the back of your motherboard. Okay. So, and your standoffs are gonna, you'll see the screws right here and other places throughout the motherboard. Okay. There we go. 
the most part, that should be it. Might have to adjust it just a hair like that when we put start putting screws in. But just look, make sure they all have there. Then grab all your screws and grab your screwdriver and go to town. All right. Now we kind of got the screws all together, so that was a little easier to see. Just sit there. Make sure you just snug them all down. You don't have to go crazy with them, but just make sure that the screws they're all tight. So that way your motherboard's not jiggling around. There's no metal on the back that will touch the back of the motherboard. And just keep on going. So. See, sometimes these screws can be a little tricky. You know, just take your time, be careful. All right, we have an M.2 SSD card. Oh, we'll set it right there for a second. All right, where that's gonna go is right in here. If I plug in here, you have a screw here, all right, which I've already taken off, okay? So, I would take that off, put this here. Now, as you can see, there's a little notch right here, all right? And there's also a little notch right here in the thing that you can see. So basically all it is is a little push that sticks up a little bit, you know? So you take that little tiny screw, you hold it down, Now she's all the good to go. Now, the other things we'll have to put in is the other uh, hard drive and the SSD card, which we'll do in a second. Okay, before we go any farther, we ran a couple wires here that we had in the back of the uh, back of the uh, case here that goes onto the motherboard here. We're gonna connect them now. All right, this one here is HD audio, as you can see. All the plugs are Pacific, so when you plug them in, you'll see that the actual notch, and it'll have a name. So we'll go ahead and start doing that. Push it down, make sure it's nice and snug. All right. here. This here is the USB. As you can see, they all have a way of, a um, specific way of going in. So that way you can't accidentally put it in the wrong way or put it in the wrong slot. Just gently push down until it goes in. 
have to truly kill it. This here goes back to the fan header, which is right here. And all these things actually have the names on on the uh, motherboard itself saying what it is and whatnot. So, okay. Now, we have these ones here, which is pretty much your power switch, all that good stuff for the uh, on and off switch and all that stuff for the motherboard. Now, it's, they're pretty small to see what goes where, but it's really not that difficult. You can usually look it up, or there should be a diagram inside the motherboard box, so. Okay. such powering the LB goes around the top Reset switch and the power switch. This one's the reset switch. Okay. Make sure they're all nice and snug. Okay. Now, the only other thing that we have that we have not plugged in is there's a sync cable, which is optional for the uh the fan header for the lights, the RGB lights, which came with the, the case, okay? Now, right down here, it tells you exactly where to plug it in, so. I'm gonna plug that in now, just to get it out of the way. Like everything else, it's all pretty self explanatory. It can only go in one way. And there we go. I'll just tuck that through the holes. 
That way it'll find itself way in the back. So after this point here, we'll start putting the power supply in, start wiring up the rest of it. All right, now that we have all this wired up, ran through the sides here, we're gonna finish how I said that for the fans plugged in here. There's also in the back where it all comes together at, and this big hub here, okay? You have this one fan header, all right? And in the book, all right, it tells, shows you, it should slide right in here to one of the fans where it says fan. You would plug that in. It's just like everything else. You can only go in one way. Slide it in, make it nice and snug. Okay. Now, the other part here that I plugged in. All right. See, that's a female. In here is also the female. Well, they have a connector piece. Okay. You just basically connect that like such. Now it's a male. Turn it around. Where it says sink. Now this cable here, it says it's optional, but if I got the part for it, why not? We'll see what happens. Yeah. Just line it up, plug it in. Sometimes it's a little hard to get things lined up. Push it in there. Push it in nice and tight. Now all that should now be plugged in. Okay. Like I said, there's plenty of room here for cable management. It, it's insane you know so down in here you have your ssd cards slots you have your hard drive slot here in order to get to the hard drive slot just grab it from the bottom pop it off the whole front part comes off put it off to the side and then you have your trays Eh, that's a little iffy, but hey, it is what it is. It'll work. So, I kind of just slip back in there like such. All right. We'll leave those in there for now. The next thing we're going to do, grab our power supply out and open that up. And then start putting her in. All right, we're going to put the power supply in. 550 obviously it looks like it's gonna be a tangled mess but it don't I don't think it's gonna be that bad so for the most part you'll slip it through in here all right there's four screws that go in the back here the screw in here hold that in place and then you just run your wires for wire management to where everything you need to wire to so Slips in nice and easy. Okay. There's a ton of room back here. Just make sure you line up your holes with your screws. That way, hold it in place.
usually get one started. Don't tighten it up all the way in case you just got to move it around to line up the breast. Once you got everyone lined up. most part I, ha I will say for this case not being a very like expensive one the amount of ring you have to work with is is nice just make sure they're all nice and tight okay all right now that's in there for the most part okay this here it's small lex cable we don't have anything that we're going to use Molex with. So for the most part, I'm going to pull that stuff, get as far out of the way as I can, and just stuff it back in here. All right, don't need it, don't need to see it. All right, all you need is really your cables that you're gonna use. 24 point pin which all goes to the uh, motherboard your SATA ports that's going to plug in here and also into the hard drive and to your SSD all right PCI ones I plug into the um, uh, graphics card and then your CPU power cable okay now it's pretty much you just look for your slots a big slot here here up in here all throughout underneath here that you can slide these cables up in where you want to take them how you want to get them there that all depends on where at on the motherboard these cables are going so since i've already got this here open we're going to probably put it the hard drive in and also when we put the hard drive in this here is powered by SATA okay so since this thing is probably hard to get to you'd have to look underneath there because it's an L shape and I would probably you need to turn it on its side to get a better look. Okay. But you can see the L's right there. So, since I got two slots side I'm gonna try to see if I can make it that way. I don't know if I can make it too thick. Yeah it's too thick. Then I would just run this back out in here. And these here would run down. I'm gonna put my SSD card in and plug that in. All right, put this up. Pull out my tray. Grab my SSD card. All right. As you can see, there's there's screw hose here on both sides. That's where these little notches would go into. Yeah. It's not really. It's 
stiff plastic and you can just kind of make it work with what you got. Hold it in place. All right. Now we got that little fangle thing inside this little tray. See, it won't move. We just need to now plug it in where you have your connectors go right here. So, this here's your SATA cable. Just like an owl, just see the owl. Push that in, plug. Okay. And then this cable here. Okay, which unfortunately that's as far out as I can come. Looks like I'm going it from here. Maybe I get a little bit more. There we go. I'll plug that light back in. See as they can all match. Plug that in. And it's the same concept with the SSD. All right. And at that point, you just put this back in the tray the way it should slide back in. All right. And you should hear it click. All right, SSD's that back in there. At this point here, I'm gonna take my cable for the light that I unplugged and make it work. go. Now reconnect it. Slide that mess up out of my way for the time being. I'll put my other chair back in here since I don't have any use for it so I don't lose it. In case I ever want to add anything. Okay. At this point here, this here looks like my SSD tray. There's a couple holes there for your SSD. SSD slaps in there. Throw some screws on there. Okay. Like I said, same connectors. Yeah. For your SSDs. Alright. Throw my SSD. said same connectors all right there's no reason to uh, uh we're just gonna go right to here this one okay and we have your other cord which is also the same idea we would plug that in You have screws on the side, screws on the back. Obviously this tray, it would fit like such, all right? There's no screws on the side, so they're in the back, okay? Just grab some of the screws that came with your, uh, with the case, because the case should come with all the screws you would need for the most part. Trying to make sure that way you can see, it makes it a little harder. Make 
it nice and snug. I'm fine with just putting two in there. It's not going to go nowhere, as far as I'm concerned. So, some people might want to put the four be a little bit better. That's kind of an each your own thing. Just kind of slide it back in there the way you slide it out. Okay. Now, then just take place the screw you took out, which held that whole case in there, or tray in there. Like anything, sometimes you gotta make sure you line up the hole. nice in place all right these cables are now done let's slip these back down here out of the way because I don't need them anymore okay now obviously if I was going to add another SSD got another slot right there I'll just move these cables over to the next one I needed to. Okay. Next thing's next. This here is the graphics card. PCE one. CPU. Okay. Which is normally at the top of the motherboard. And then you have the 24 point pin. Okay. Now it's kind of at this point figuring out where, which way you want to run those things. Okay. Because, uh, what do we got here? We got the 24 point pin here, the CPU power right here, and where else is, what else am I looking for? Oh, the graphics card, which is not in there. <laughs> so, most part here's your 24 point pen might as well bring that up right through here bring it through as much as you can okay then you want to take a look at that pen like everything else it can only go in one way, okay? So, take a good look at it. Okay, now we got the 24 point pen plugged in. Pull that the way I want it. I just have to take this here, plug this back in. So I move that out of the way just so I can get in there a little easier. All right, so that's plugged back in. Okay. up here this lovely spot right here okay which 
cube of pen like everything else. Take a good look. Line it all up. Which it is hard to see. Push it in, plug it in. Now they're both plugged in. Okay. And that's this. And at this point here. We're gonna have to grab this card. Come up through here. around do a little bit of cable management for some of this stuff obviously because this one here push that in push this in okay so this way it does not hit that fan as you can see it's pretty much made for it almost that's awesome then at this point take your strap Do the same over here. So this way this is all out of the way when you put the put the, um, the back plate on, not hitting this fan or any of that good mess. So that's actually that's pretty nice considering you won't see any of that mess. All right. So now, what's left to do is we're gonna flip it on the side, and we'll probably slap the graphics card in, and plug that in. All right, now we're gonna put in our uh, graphics card. We got a AMD Radeon RX 6600. All right, first thing you're gonna do is these sleeves right here. You want to take those out so that way your graphics card will fit. on the case some will break off some just slip in and off and you can put them back in if you don't need them that's pretty much it for that now the slot for the PCI is just like RAM unlock it first and grab your Graphics card. Take your time. Slip it in there the way. I believe it should be. Nice job with it. There you go. Put it down to here. Click. Then you would take those bolts or screws, put them in there to hold the hold the graphics card in. As you can see, you got the screws there. Once you get them started, you can take the screwdriver and tighten it down. Take your PCI slot cable. All right, plug it right into the necessary slot. Down to 
hear it click. All locked in place. Everything's booted down. Okay. That's pretty much it for that. All we gotta do is now plug her in, boot her up, and see what happens. All right. Here's the moment of the truth. See if she'll fire up. It already has an operating system on the on the SSD, so you shouldn't have to put Windows on it. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully, she works. So, good luck. Oh, well, she lit up. Everything's moving. I don't quite got anything on the monitor quite yet. Hmm. Got some pretty lights. What's going on with the monitor? Do we have her plugged in? Hmm. There we go. We got something now. All right, we got her up and running got the benchmark going okay why that's sitting here running I'm gonna sit here because the lights we got a nice little switch on there to make them change different colors you know we'll go through them all they look pretty cool something different you know so that's something else You got the light in the front there also. It's just a simple button here. All you gotta do is hit that and that'll change the lights. So, benchmark and all that kind of stuff. She's running pretty quiet and looks pretty nice. To be honest with you, that case is not a big case. Pretty easy to work with. Getting roughly 200 frames per second on this benchmark. So we'll see what she does, where she goes. Considering I do believe we were getting roughly 75 or so frames per second with the Ryzen 3 1200, and now with the Ryzen 5. 5500 yeah new motherboard and that's about pretty much it and the rest is all the same stuff out of the old other computer looking like we're probably getting like close to 150 to 200 on average so we're almost done here but yeah She's pretty nice. We're gonna sit here and put her back together. Put the front panel back on. And then we'll take another look when this benchmark is over. There's the benchmark, 175 frames per second on average. We're looking at 262 max frames per second and the minimum is 48. So that's not bad at all. So all put back together. It's a nice piece of glass and lights. As you can see, you got the light also in the front, all right, which is quite nice. Yeah, see the light in the back there from the top. So, you know, I, I have to say it is quite a nice looking setup here. Yeah. Considering all off, I am pretty satisfied. All right, guys, enjoy. Have a nice one.